Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. Hello, Duke. And uh, so, dogs everywhere. So today I wanna to talk to you about sights. Um, these are Magpul MBUS MOE sights, just regular flip up sights, front and rear. And then something I'm trying are some Ruger front and rear. So um, they both look pretty similar. So let's take them apart here. So my my thoughts with sights um, are particularly that uh, even if I have which I don't, but even if I had some fancy optic, I would want a sight, a manual, a traditional sight system on my rifle. Uh, or in, in the case of these, I got them for a shotgun. So, and I use Magpuls a lot. I'm fond of them. Uh, this one is gray. Uh, totally because gray was on sale and it's got your adjustments you know for your left and right so you can dial and then it's got your peep sight and then then your combat sight both on there um, or you can flip them clean out of the way and then so it sits on your rail, just like that, out of the way. So if you have an optic, that's fine. Um, and if you don't, you just leave it up. And then there's your back sight, and then your front sight goes up here. This is the uh, the Ruger. So here's the Magpul. There it is. And here's the Ruger. I guess if I do them both the same way. So the Ruger also flips up. It has one button where the Magpul has on both sides has a button. Um, it still has the dial to change. Um, let's see. However, it doesn't, it just has the peep. It doesn't open up to a combat like this one has the peep. And then, then it has the combat circle. Um, anyway, they're comparable in price. They're about the same weight. Uh, they both screw on to your rail. It's hot outside. Like you guys didn't know that already. So there they go. They're pretty similar. You know, I mean, they're basic concept. Mm. They both, like I said, they both feel pretty similar. So on the front sights, the Magpul one comes with a sight tool. I, I guess I could have opened these before. But. So it comes with the front sight tool that you use to adjust this this up and down. Um, you sure need one of these. If you have an AR, you need, or this particular style, you need a sight tool. So this is very similar to the Magpul reel. reel. This is OD, this is green. I don't really care if they match. Um, it's what I could get, and plus they were on, this was, these were a couple, a couple dollars less expensive. So there's a full set. And this one does the same thing as the rear. It flips up. So you have this on the front and this on the back. Of your rifle. I know this is nothing new for a lot of you. Right? That's a set of sights. And then the Ruger front sight also comes with a sight tool. 
and an Allen wrench to install it and because it that the Magpul one uses an Allen wrench or a flathead or a dime or a key so it f flips up too somebody's here maybe the dogs Mag Magpul Ruger I mean they're very very similar very similar and they feel similar um, so i'm gonna try them like i say i bought so I, I won't lie actually i bought the magpul set and ordered them and forgot that i ordered them because shipping times have taken a long time and then i saw these ruger uh, rapid deployment sites and i went oh well those are comparable in price and those are in stock so i'll order those and so they both actually came one one day one the next day and so i'm probably going to put the ruger rapid deployment sights on uh, a new to me shotgun that i did some swapping for and then i will have these mag poles as extra um you know, accessories break and things, particularly things that stick up, you know, off the rail. So it's never a bad idea to have an extra set of sights. Some people have ARs that have the front post, so they don't need the front sight, you know. Um, if I buy one sight, I buy them both because I only have, well, listen at me count. I only have one AR, so having an extra set of sights, I might as well have them both because it doesn't have the front post. Anyway, so what if you guys have tried flip-up sights before? Uh, I've tried some that I didn't like. And, uh, like, there is a, um, a set of UTG flip-up sights that I was super not pleased with. Um super duper not pleased so i won't use those uh, they didn't hold up very well just under the recoil of the rifle they fall apart or they'd loosen up or they they just get lo real wobbly and loose my go-to for several several years have been these magpul uh, the moe inbus sites and so those are kind of my go-to sites um but for the same cost, these Rugers are worth it. Um, and I'm going to put it through its paces. Like I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strap them to a 12-gauge and go to the range and see how they hold up. I am anticipating that they hold up as well as the Magpuls. Uh, I hope so. I would hate. It's crazy enough that I, I ordered two sets and didn't need them. What a... And I'm not against optics. Optics are important a lot of, for a lot of reasons. But I want a primary set of sights. Or I guess some people call them backup secondaries. To me, these are the primary. These are what you need to use that weapon and know, know how it functions, know how it shoots with open sights before you go loading on expensive optics. Uh, sometimes they need batteries. Sometimes they uh, they need different conditions. Sometimes they just don't work uh, they get out of zero a lot easier than something like these do and those are all important things let me know in the comments about if you have any experience with the ruger rapid deployment sites um, or if you have any stories about the magpul ones i'd sure like to hear everyone's input there's i mean it's just like underwear we all have different pair on so i know everyone has a different a different opinion Thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below. Like and share the video. Um, share the channel if you would. If you have any questions or issues, my dog just brought an armadillo. That's awesome. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to let me know or you can go to nwaprepper.com and you can send me a message from there. Let's get ready.